Evan from Brookers Junior High School asks, how can AI assist in career development and navigating future job markets? One of the great things about artificial intelligence is that it can help young people see the world ahead versus what is today. And for example, when you look at technological revolutions uh, in, in history, uh, and this is not the first, we've had some before, you think about what the people who have thrived in those kinds of revolution, they tend to have had skills, allow them to leapfrog the current constructs and the current situations. Uh, for example, you think about human ingenuity, you think about creativity, you think about the kinds of skills necessary to really know how to manage technology. Those are the kinds of skills young people ought to really understand, um, otherwise they get left behind. Din from Western High School asks, how will AI impact and change the educational technology landscape? AI is already changing the education uh, technology landscape. And I love the fact that the question focuses on education technology because that is where AI is gonna show up. We're not gonna go out and buy, for example, ChatGPT. It's gonna show up uh, in, in education technology tools. Or, or fact, in fact, already, it's already showing. So when you think about the ways in which we use EdTech in the classroom, in planning for what we do. When you think about um, how we prepare for the world of work, uh, education technology can be an amazing enabler. Um, my team often talks about uh, in, as a, augmenting the intelligence of the work. The human is still critically important, but how the human manages machines is what needs to happen. If I can give you an example, I'm, I'm a commercial pilot. Uh, I, I, I've moved from analog equipment to really advanced technology has made my flying safer, but I manage the technology um, for me to get to where I want to get to very safely. Christian from Western High School asks, how can AI-driven technologies cater to personalized and individualized learning needs? That's a great question. When you think about the ideas of personalizing, uh, there's a great researcher named Todd Rose, who used to be at Harvard, uh, wrote a book called The End of Average. And in that book, he talks about the fact that education is designed for the average person. And he says that every person has a jagged learner profile, which means that we're all very different. The only way really to get personal, to really understand the learning needs of each individual person is to leverage technology like artificial intelligence. So that, I think, if for the first time, we have the real possibility of being able to tailor to the needs of every child, whether they're neurodiverse, uh, or not, um, AI, I think, has the potential to help us actually do that. 